Hello, I'm Barney Maunder Taylor, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make flat pack dodecahedron. So, what is this? Well, here's a dodecahedron. It's a special sort of 3D shape that's made of 12 regular pentagons. Um, and this this one's a bit small. I wanted to make one that was a bit bigger, but I wanted it to be easily transportable from venue to venue. So, I've come up with this. As you can see, it's completely flat, uh, flat. But I just pull this string here and it pops it up to full size. Uh, so there it is, that's the flat pack dodecahedron. And then when I finish with it, I just pull this string, collapse it, and it's ready to pack away again. So let me show you the equipment that you're gonna to need to make this shape. Uh, to start off with, you'll need some card. I've just got an old cereal box here. Uh, th this one was actually made of several old cereal boxes, so you don't need anything too posh. Uh, you'll need a cutting board and uh, preferably a metal ruler and a craft knife to do all the cutting. Uh, to do the sticking together, you'll need either tape, I've used this gaffer tape, uh, or glue, If you, depending on whether you want to stick the pentagons together using, uh, using cardboard flaps or I just tape it together. Um, you're going to need a template of a pentagon. Uh, this is really important and try and make it out of pretty thick card and as accurately as you can to make for a really nice finish. I think a drawstring makes for a really nice finish and it's quite a nice reveal. Um, if you want to include a drawstring, uh, you'll need some string. Just normal household string is fine, but I've actually used this nylon string because it's really low friction and it means the moving parts work really well. Uh, this is actually Diabolo string from a juggling supplier. You can buy it by the meter very cheaply online. Um, and also, if you want a drawstring, you'll need uh, one of these toggles. I just bought a pack of 10 of them. It cost me about two pound, I think, from eBay. Just to give you an idea, uh, the edge of this one is 10 centimeters, and it's pretty big. But uh, for this demonstration model, I'm gonna be using a slightly smaller pentagon with an edge of just six centimeters. Uh, now, if you've not made a, a normal, regular, solid dodecahedron first, I would suggest that you have a go at making one of these before attempting the collapsible one. Uh, you can find nets all over the internet telling you how to make this. Um, but the nets for the collapsible version is probably slightly different to what you make for a, a normal, solid one. You're going to need two identical copies of this, which is six of the pentagons. So I'll just show you how I make that. I've got my template here. If you're lucky and you've got a really big piece of cardboard, you might be able to make that in one go. But if you're using cereal boxes like I did, then you want to avoid the creases in the cereal box. So you'll probably have to just make um, a couple of pentagons in each time. I'm just going to make sure this is really nicely lined up um, and then stick them all together using gaffer tape or by attaching some cardboard flaps and using some glue. So yeah, etc. etc. So uh, let's assume that you've now made two of these. Um, the next thing you need to do is to score along all the edges really carefully. So I've just got one more of these left to do, which I think is this one. So you get a craft knife and you want to make sure it folds really nicely. So I'm just going to gently score along there and then I'm I'm going to make sure all the folds are really nice and neat. OK, that's good. So if you want to install the drawstring, please do it now while it's flat. It's a lot easier. So you're going to need two short drawstrings uh, of about 15 centimetres each. If you're using nylon string, make sure to uh, just burn the ends to stop it fraying and you'll need one longer piece of string. This should be about eight times uh, the length of the edge that you're using. So this edge is just six centimeters, so I've cut off around 48 centimeters of string. So I'm just gonna show you, if you wanna come a bit closer, how I attach this drawstring on. Um, oh, I should say also that I've um, scored along the middle of these two pentagons as well, because these two are gonna fold in half once the model's complete, uh, which is what allows it to go flat pack in the first place. Uh, so yeah, back to the drawstring, it's gonna attach on here, and it's also gonna attach on here to create a little loop. So I'll turn that upside down to make it easier. Um, so what I'm gonna use is very simply a stapler. I'm gonna do two staples here, so that's once, 
twice and I'm now just going to pull this so that the knot comes all the way up to the staple and now that's really solidly in place and you can pull it reasonably hard without it falling out. So I'm going to do the same at this end here but before I do now's a good time to start attaching the longer drawstring. So I've made a little loop in the end I'm just going to loop that through the smaller one and now again I'm going to staple, get it in place once, twice and I'm going to pull that knot up to the end. Okay so what you have now is a little loop here with the longer drawstring attached to it and I'm now going to talk a little bit about the mechanics of how the drawstring is actually going to work. Uh, so in order to bring the dodecahedron together I need this point here and this point here to be pushed together. So that's what I'm trying to achieve with the drawstring. There's a little loop around here, um, which you probably can't see because it's hidden. And there's another loop around here. Um, now the main drawstring loops around this one, which is, which is what we did earlier when we looped the long drawstring around the little one. So it loops around there, it goes, runs down the length of the dodecahedron. It will loop through this one and then back up to the top and out of this gap here and that's how the drawstring is going to work. This will probably make more sense a little later on. So right I've got two of these, I've attached the drawstrings, I've scored along the edges including these two here and made all the folds so now's the time to glue it together. Hopefully you've now glued together the top half which should look like this and if I put it together hopefully you can see that that's exactly one half of a dodecahedron and it should now fold completely flat like so. If you compare that to the finished model hopefully you can see that what I've got in my right hand is just the top half of what I've got in the left hand like that and if I turn it upside down because you'll have made two of these by now that is the bottom half. Now the place where the top half attaches to the bottom half is this edge here and that's exactly where I've got two flaps which I've shaded in here ready to glue the top to the bottom. Uh, so when you've done that there's only one thing left to do which is to finish off the drawstring. Um, you'll need to reach inside the model to do this through the little gaps. Uh, it's already looped onto this small drawstring at the top which we did earlier. There's only one long drawstring you need. Um, you need two little ones but only one long one. It runs down the length You'll need to feed it through the loop at the bottom, through the other small drawstring, and then you'll need to feed it up and through this gap at the top here. Um, so it runs the whole length and up again. And then the only thing left to do is to feed a toggle on the end like so. And the model will now be completed and you should now have something looking like this. Um, so I'm just gonna put that back into position again to show the finished article. Um, what, one other point I will mention, if you want the fit to be extra good you can cheat a little bit and use some of these neodymium magnets. Um, I bought a dozen of them for less than two pounds on eBay. Um, I started off with the four millimetre ones but they really weren't up to the job so then I got the six millimetre ones uh, which just helped some of the pentagons fit together perfectly where they weren't as snug as they could have been. Uh, so that's it, that's the flat pack collapsible dodecahedron. Thanks for watching and see you again soon.